Radio Rahim with Jake Paul, obviously victorious tonight. This is the first time I've seen you look like you're in a fight after the fight. You got the ice pack. There's bruises everywhere. Did he hurt you at all tonight? No, no. But it was it was uh, a lot of punches going back and forth. High volume. Uh, he can throw for sure, but I just got a really good chin. And I haven't really gotten to show it yet. Or maybe I haven't seen the fight. I don't know how hard he hit me, but it didn't it didn't hurt me. Uh, I don't know what the scorecards were, but I know that ringside, a lot of us in the press had that fight, like maybe one round separation going into the eighth round. Did you feel like that fight might be hanging in the balance? And what adjustments did you have to make along the way to get that knocked down? No, I knew I was winning the rounds. My, my coaches were scoring it and they the coaches were, my coaches had it scored the exact same way as the judges. So even going into the seventh and eighth, I knew I was uh, ahead four to two. Um, and then finished six rounds to two up. Uh, but the knockdown just was a cherry on top. I would have been pissed at myself if it was just a decision, but I got a knockdown, so I'm pretty proud. Now, we know a lot of people are asking for a, a real boxer, but I think what they really wanted was a real fight, which is what you had tonight. Yeah. Uh, what did you learn tonight, and what adjustments did you have to make going down the stretch? I learned a lot of comfortability, uh, how to relax in the pocket, um, how to how – to, you know, just chill, breathe, take my time. I don't have to go all out every single round. I can pick my spots to fight. Um, and he pushed me to a place that no other fighter has. Um, so I learned a lot about myself and the dog that I have inside of me. And I, I just know how bad I want this. And I got to show it tonight that through all adversity rises a titan and I'm a motherfucking titan. You know, Nate Diaz was here acting like a bitch. Uh, everyone wants that fight. He tried to fight people in the hallway. You know, Nate, stop fighting people for free. Let's do it in the ring, okay? I know, I know you're a little slow, buddy, but uh, it's okay. We can make that fight happen. And you too, Canelo. You're getting old. You looked weird against Triple G. Um, I, I still want that fight as well. And I think now, like I said it 18 months ago, I want Canelo. And then everyone, I was sitting in a room just like this, and they were, everyone was like, oh, fucking idiot. <laughs> And lastly, you called out Canelo one more time. You're right. Everybody rolled their eyes the first time. Maybe fewer people this time, yeah. but only Canelo makes those decisions. Can you talk directly to him? <laughs> uh, hey, man. Two biggest names in boxing. Make the fight happen. Love you, bro. Thank you. Radio Rahim with Jake Paul.